Hi everyone, good morning, welcome back to another video. It is early in the morning and as you know, I love baking bread early in the morning. So today I'm going to show you how to make German Bauernbrot, which is probably the most iconic German bread out there. It tastes so good, I really, really love it. So yeah, I'm excited to show you how to make it. It's very, very easy. So um, I'm going to use two types of flour in this bread. One um, strong white bread flour. Always use strong flour when you're baking bread just because it contains more gluten which helps develop the gluten network whilst you're kneading and that will give your bread a better structure and more stability. And then I'm also using rye flour, um, 150 grams of that, so it's 350 white to 150 of rye flour and um, salt as well for the base. So we're just going to put that in a bowl, 350 grams of strong white bread flour followed by 150 grams of rye flour and 15 grams of salt. So you just pour that all in your bowl and give it a little mix. Next, this recipe uses another favourite of mine, fresh yeast. So again, if you don't know it, really I recommend trying baking with fresh yeast. This is what it looks like, it comes in little cubes like so. and then you just dissolve that in some liquid. So this is what fresh yeast looks like. Um, and I'm going to use half a cube. So what I've got here is 200 milliliters of milk. I've just microwaved this so it's lukewarm. You don't want it to be hot, but you want it to be lukewarm. And I'm going to fill this up to 400 mils with some lukewarm water. Okay, and then once you have your lovely yeast, uh, milky watery solution, that's when you crumble in the yeast. So I'm going to use half a cube of the yeast, so 21 grams. You could weigh it, but I'm just going to eyeball it now. And then you just crumble that in. Tiny bit more, there we go. And use a fork to just um, whisk it until it's dissolved. And then I'm just going to pour my liquid into my prepared flour. All in a one up. Scrape out any leftover yeast that might have not dissolved properly. And then you just want to use an electric hand mixer to knead this dough. This dough is quite wet and it will need a lot of kneading, about 10 minutes. So although normally I prefer kneading by hand as well, for this I use my um, hand mixer. Okay, so you really have to be patient with this. You do have to knead it for about five to 10 minutes until it starts to come together in a bowl and it starts to shrink away from the sides of the bowl and just becomes less sticky. Like it, it might still be a slightly sticky dough, but that's okay. Um, but yeah, you do need to be patient. Um, this is where I wish I had a KitchenAid or some, any other freestanding mixing device. <laughs> Okay, so I've covered the bowl loosely with some cling film and I'm going to show you a neat little trick um, to speed up the proving process. So what you do is you put your bowl in the oven, roughly in the middle of the oven, and then you put a smaller bowl below it. And then just use the water from a freshly boiled kettle, pour it into the bottom bowl and then close the door and that will create steam and a nice warm environment for your bread dough to rise. And now we just wait 30 to 60 minutes um, until the dough has doubled in size. Okay, so it's about 45 minutes later. I've got the dough out of the oven, which is off, but it's proved um, and doubled in size. So now I've preheated the oven to 220 degrees and put an old like roasting tin that I have at the bottom of the oven, um, which I will fill in a second with some water. But whilst the oven's preheating, we're going to shape the bread and then leave it to brew for another 15 minutes until the oven is hot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dust the surface with a bit of flour and scrape my dough on top. Ok, 
Okay, and now what we do, I'm just going to lightly dust my hands with a bit of flour as well. And now I'm going to shape the dough into a ball by pulling up the sides into the middle. Turn it round and then you just sort of shape it. <laughs> it's hard to explain but you can see what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't want to add too much more flour at this stage, so as you can see it's actually it's a tiny bit sticky but not too much sticky. Put a bit of flour on top for the authentic look. And then I'm just going to put it onto a baking tray lined with some baking paper and leave that to prove for another 15 minutes until the oven is hot. Oh, the oven's hot and um, so now we need to score the bread and then move quickly to quickly get it into the oven so I have one of these like razor blade um, like Stanley throwaway knives that I use but you can use any sharp knife or a proper bread lame but I think these are actually really good they're super cheap I'll leave a link under the video if you're wanting to get some but yes yeah, so we're just gonna score the bread and you want to go deep but not too deep if that makes sense <laughs> So I'm just going to do a few lines this morning. Right, and now quick. Okay, so that's the bread in the oven and I'm now going to just leave it for 40 to 50 minutes until it is nice and golden brown. Look at that! Amazing! There's the bread. Now, you might be wondering, how do you check if bread's cooked? Well, it needs to sound hollow when you tap it from below. So, I'll just turn it round. Very hot, but... That's what bread's meant to sound like. Excellent. Right, I'm going to transfer that onto a wire rack now. And now I just leave it to cool. You want to wait until your bread is really cold, completely cooled, before you slice it. But yes, this is the final result. This is Bauern Brot. It really is the best bread ever. Um, the recipe is on my blog. Um, as always, if you want to check it out and give it a try, as you will have seen, it was super, super, super easy to make. It didn't take long at all. And um, oh, I mean, oh, it, I love this bread so much. Right, hope you enjoyed. As always, if you liked it, please uh, give the video a like or subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. Uh, check out some of my other videos and more recipes on my blog. Oh, satisfaction. Look at it! Ah.